too bad I already chose this one. Let's see if this is gonna make long enough in the skin. Very good. Thank you so much for letting me practice on you. Yeah. Oh, I really have opportunity to get models to help me with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. It's one of my favorite ASMR artists, GV. Isn't this adorable? Like a teddy bear color. Look at the back. So cute. I don't know if you can see it there. Just got it. I'm obsessed with it. Very good. So, my statistician teacher told me that I need to do a look with warm colors. So, I brought my palette that I think it's going to be best. I, I do have two, but I think these colors are a bit too cold. This one are more romantic and warm tones, so I think we're gonna go with this one. So it has to be a very dramatic makeup for the eyes, so we can show the technique that I'm gonna be doing. And I also need a couple of pictures uh, before and after. Is that okay? Thank you. Okay, so let's take the before picture. Uh, I'm gonna have to use my flash. Is that okay? There we go. Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Okay, then we are gonna be doing the after. So the main goal here is your eyes. I am just going to brush your eyebrows. You really don't need much in them. They are already beautiful. So what's, why mess up with success, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just going to add a bit of color in it. So I have to use the same palette that I'm going to use in your eyes for most of the makeup. That's the exercise to see if I can work with limited tools. So maybe oh, all of this has some glitter on it. Hmm. Well, too bad I already chose this one. Let's see if this is going to make it make it work mm -mm. yeah it's not too bad not too much glitter in this one yes this exercise is to see we can work with different tones so I got the warm tones and limited to tools like brushes or makeup So definitely, they're going to make us work with it. Okay, so we are going to be trying to do a base. I'm still thinking what theme we're going to be doing with this color. It's mostly romantic tones and some brownish copper tones. What do you like the most? Romantic copper. I think for your color structure both are good. So mm, we're gonna go with romantic tones, okay? I'm now gonna use this as a base. Okay. Can you please close your eyes? Thank you. I 
wish I had some primer. This palette is not that pigmented. That's why they gave us this. Oh, it's actually a Mexican brand or Latin American cosmetic lab. Sombra para párpados. No, it doesn't have a name on the back, just in the front. So. Okay. No, these pinks are too pink. No, I take it back. No romantic tones. There's going to be more warm copper tones. So, because I have this color here that I think is very pretty. That should be better. Okay. So, we're going to have to go with the copper tones and this as a base. Because the other one, okay, let me just move you a little bit here. The other one was too pinkish, and I don't think it's gonna look good with what you're wearing. I have to make it look even or something like that. Okay, let's use this as a secondary color. It's gonna look a little bit dramatic because I have to make the eyes pop out with the colors but it's gonna look good on you I hope <laughs> that's why I'm studying mm, let's see how this one works it's not that pigmented but still strong enough in the skin So, so. Mm. Let me see if I can fix, fix this here. Yeah, I have a test or an exam with a real life model next week. I don't know if you will have time to be my model. It's at 7 p.m. Normally less an hour, more or less. And you will have cookies and coffee. Our coffee is really good there. Yeah? Well, thank you. Thank you so much. It was love. They have models that I know personally because sometimes when the people I know are not available and I have to get someone strange, it's a little bit awkward, especially during exams. So, thank you. Okay, let's add this one here. See, it's not that pigmented, but fall out either. That's good. There we go. Let's not overdo it. And I'm gonna use this color as an eyeliner here. on their skin. Quite nice. Since we don't have a foundation, we are just going to put a bit of blush. Not too much. They only want to see the eyes. That it works with the palette they gave us. For the lips, we're going to use a 
nice rose tone, brown rose. Let's go with the lashes. Just add some color. Okay, here too. I'm gonna use a bit of this concealer because I do notice some tones that are not even. I'm just gonna cover them to a bit, okay? Yeah, I didn't brought any foundation, I'm sorry, so this will have to do it. Okay, can you close your eyes? Okay, let me take you some pictures, then we're going to see if I need to fix something. Sometimes in the camera it looks different with the flash, okay? Again, I'm going to use the flash, so be aware of the light. Again, try not to look directly into the camera, try looking like on the sides or maybe my forehead area. That's it, thank you. Again. Mm. Maybe. Maybe a little bit more of, of chocolate. Kind of blush. I think I put too much pink. And it does look in the camera a bit weird. Yeah, I think that fixed it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm on level two, so that's the eyes color theory on the eyes on what looks better with certain eye color hair color then I think the second course would be foundation and such and contouring I'm not that good at that so I really need the classes <laughs> okay let's take a picture again I'll look to the sides like right here oops I forgot the flash there we go. Oh, much better. Take a pic. Isn't it? Yeah, with the concealer, I cover the blemishes. Not too many, but with the flash, it, de it did look like a lot. So that fixed that. Not saying that your skin looks bad, but you know, every time we use flash photography, oh. Well, thank you so much for helping me. I'm not taking any more of your time. And I will text you once I put your name on the list for the Kassam. If you have any trouble that day that it comes up, don't worry. It's okay. I can find someone else. But I always prefer to have people that I, I really like. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much. I change to the door this way. Hello, welcome to our salon. How are you? We were expecting you, so don't worry, you're in time. You're here for a full makeover. How fun. You want to change your hair and your makeup style, correct? Mm -hmm. mm, you're looking for a more soft, clean look something easier to do of course actually 
that is the trend that is now changing into having less makeup but still looking that we have some color and make our face features stand up a little bit more so let me see about your hair what do you want to change mm -hmm. you want it more light very good maybe we can add a few layers mm -hmm. okay so we should be doing your hair first and then move out to your makeup which is gonna be the most fun part for your hair let me just take a look and brush it a bit is this your natural hair or have you done anything to it okay let's see let's brush it yeah I asked to you know if you're wearing any type of product maybe to relax it or do something about the texture of your hair hmm. okay how do you feel about shaving and I'm not talking about your whole hair I just see that your hair is quite heavy so what we can do is do a little shaving in the back nothing too much just a few inches that is gonna help uh, lose the weight that you have in your hair because yes you do have quite a lot let me show you you can do a very nice hairdo with it and believe me you will love it let's see It, it actually is not gonna be noticeable even if you do a ponytail high up it's not gonna show we're just gonna cut in a few places but it's not gonna notice not whatsoever we are just shredding some of the weight okay and it's quite easy we're gonna be using this tool for that and just shave those areas a little bit to loosen up the weight Okay, try not to move. Good. It's actually a very good trip, a good tip for people that have quite a lot of hair. And having a lot of hair is good, but sometimes it does feel very very heavy and we tend to just cut it off uh, very short to loosen up some of that weight but we, what we can do is this just shaving these areas to lose some weight on it the volume is gonna stay mostly the same we are just making it lighter Those parts are ready. Now I'm gonna put a bit of air. I just wanna simulate how it's gonna look once it's blown out. Okay. Good. Very good. Just puff it up a bit. I want you to look at it and tell me if you still want it that short as you told me at first. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a couple of inches, not that short as you want it. 
we already did the shaping with the layers so that is gonna make you feel more light but we can still cut a little bit yeah like half of what you were thinking very good Okay, so I'm going to ask you to look straight forward for me, like that. Good. Very good. We're not taking too much hair length. Okay. Let's not move. Now, we like to do a shampoo too. Want to see how it behaves once it's completely wet and make changes over that. this pre-shampoo that is gonna help the hair loosen up a bit. If you can close your eyes please. here a bit. Now this area. It looks marvelous. Now, you're gonna notice that we didn't change a lot but you can move your head around it does feel lighter isn't it not that heavy now you can try to put on a ponytail it doesn't feel that heavy right mm -hmm. okay let's loosen it up again Now the shampoo that we're gonna make is just here in your chair. You don't need to move. It's not that wet. We're just gonna style it, okay? Just gonna ask you to look forward and lean your head a little bit down, okay? Mm -hmm. Like that. Very good. So, the important thing here is that we are going to apply the products that are going to work just absolutely gorgeous for your type of hair. Okay, now look down, please. Very good. I'm gonna move your 
your head a little bit to the side. Good. Now you can close your eyes if you want. And let's start.
like you see. That was a lot of water, but it all goes into the cake. Got into it too. Let me just dry it up a bit, okay? hear that okay okay we are gonna style your hair so you want something different from what you came with right so I think we can do a stray look it will look very very good on you and this way you're gonna notice the change in your hair especially the length and volume okay now we're just gonna straight it out like that Yeah, it's still a bit wet. Let me just add it. Some of the air, okay? Very good. Not too much. There we go. I love how it looks on you. It's gonna go well with the look for makeup that you want it. A clean, fresh look. this to protect your hair from the makeup okay there we go okay now the main goal here is not to add too much makeup too much product so we're just gonna take care of some of the blemishes that you have and to be honest, you don't really have many. Okay. So, just in this area in particular. Can you look up? Looks 
nice. Let's try and blend it in. Yeah, this is like a setting powder. Just for that. Can you close your eyes? We're gonna add it a bit like it was a primer. Let's go with your eyebrows. Your design is quite perfect, so I don't really want to mess up with that. And again, we want to go with a clean, very easy to do look. So all we have to do is fill up the eyebrow, okay? I'm going to be using this pencil here. That good. I'm gonna use the same pencil pencil as an eyeliner because the color is just perfect for that. But let's move on with the eyeshadow. We have these very soft colors that will look amazing on you and are very easy to use. As you can see, it's only for colors. What you need to do first is just apply the base. Could be either this one or this one. We can try this one first and try it in both eyes. Let's close it. Good. the other eye. Yeah, you always want to go with the lighter color first and then add a color that is going to be a higher tone. It can be either this one or this one. All of these colors combine on their own, okay? Okay, let's go with that one. Eyes closed. These are very soft colors, so it's not going to be that noticeable, but still look like you're wearing it. Quite cute. Love these colors on you. Now let's go with the eyeliner. You can close your eyes, please. Just a bit, not too much. Good, the same here. Okay, Let's see if they're even. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can look up for me. Now let's work with the mascara. Okay, we're going to look up and blink, 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 blink. Okay, very good. Let's add a little bit of blush. I like to do that. Okay, let's 
here's a combination of this color we're gonna do the face like this good very nice this is just to make the face look like it has contouring but we are just really adding some color it can be on the pink tones, red tones, even a bit of browns depending on the skin tone and it adds like more life to it yeah it's like the clean look actually okay I would like to apply a bit of highlighter on top of the eyebrow this might be a bit too much for you but believe me it's gonna look very very well close your eyes just a bit of color not too much like that and a bit here the cheekbone it's not that noticeable, but I really like to add it to this kind of aesthetic look. I think it looks just very pretty. Now let's go with your lip. I think this tone, it will be just amazing. Yeah, it's kind of in the nude tones and it will be perfect for you okay just put your mouth like this a little bit open very good like that good i love how it looks Now you can see your makeup. We haven't finished with your hair just yet, but look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Let me take this down. Now for your hair, since we did the straight up, I would like to add some waves to it. Not too much just so it has a bit of movement mm -hmm. or maybe we can even try to do a hairdo if you want we have these beautiful ties that it will look just amazing on any hairdo mm -hmm. okay we can do that so we're gonna do the waves let me just add a bit of spray for that. Okay, now you're gonna lean a little bit down. Mm -hmm. So we can work on that. Now, let me just see here. Great. I'm going to use a little bit of setter so it stays longer. Okay. I'm gonna comb it, use my comb for this, just stay like that while I do the curling. Now the setter is gonna help the curls to stay longer.
card, I would like it like this. Now if you stay down, please, I'm going to use the blow dryer to certain parts. It's not going to take too long, okay?
finished. Now you can fully look at the mirror. What do you think? You like it? Well, the curls are very easy to do. At home, you can use a setter like this one. We sell it here too. You just apply it, add a little bit of warm air, not hot, warm. And then with your hands, just do the curls. Or you can use a comb, whichever is easier to you. For me, it's easier to comb, but some people do it like this. They make their hair apart and just do this. Leave it for a bit with the air, which is what we did. Just a bit. And then let it loose. And do that in the rest of your hair. Normally it's only on the outer parts. You don't don't you don't wanna go deeper because it's gonna start puffing up. And that is curly, curly hair. This is just to add some waves. Mm -hmm. But it looks just amazing and you very very beautiful especially with the makeup a whole new look makeover i'm so happy you like it mm -hmm. what is that uh the makeup palette yes we sell it here too all these products are available in the front part with my associate and she can help you with that yeah, we have the setter, we have the pre-shampoo that we add, which is this brand here. And we have all the makeup palettes too, along with the lipsticks. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for coming to our hair salon. And please take care, and hopefully I will see you again around. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, you're looking to get some new makeup. Oh, amazing. So, what is your budget? Are you looking for premium brands? Something more affordable? Looking into both? Well, right now we have a special, which is a full makeover with certain brands that we have in special right now in this calendar are name brands would you like me to show it to you okay let me tell you about them i'm gonna give you a makeover with the name brand and i am also gonna show you the most affordable ones that we have but are really really great okay so first we have the morphe and jeffrey star palette that is the name brand. Yes, it's kind of old and outdated for the makeup beauty goodies and stuff like that. But no, it's completely gorgeous. Let me show you the colors that it has. Mm -hmm. Aren't they beautiful? I think these colors will never come out of fashion. They are just amazing. And then we also have this one from Jeffree Star, of course, sealed, completely new, the Blue Blood Palette. You can choose from the shader palette you want to do your makeup. You see how it looks? So, so pretty. Mm -hmm. So you open it like this. It comes with its mirror. And the color are just to die for. <laughs> Look at that. They are just so magical and amazing. Yes, they are very pigmented, both palettes. And the ones that I can show you that are a bit more affordable are also high pigmented. Yeah, let me show you, of course. Yeah, you can take a look, of course. So the most affordable one that we have right now is the Glam Beauty Glam Nudes. This one is a 
big big head in our store because its colors are just perfect for any type of skin tone and especially they are highly pigmented so they will look just amazing on any skin tone well we can try two looks if you want not to worry it's completely free and if you decide to go with either palette you're gonna get a discount too <laughs> well which one is the one that you like the most mm, okay so we're gonna go with this one first do you mind if i take a picture of you for a before and after for our site do we have your consent oh thank you thank you okay ready good there we go ready okay are you wearing anything at the moment in your face mm -hmm. okay let me just clean my hands so we can start i'm not sure i understand oh, i'm sorry my phone <laughs> there we go just see talking so, are you looking to change all your makeup or just your palettes? Just your palettes? That's great. Alright, well, with this kind of palettes, you don't need any kind of primer in your eyes. But I do suggest maybe some foundation. Okay. We are also having a special with ID very minimal that it's just really really gorgeous we have it in various tones of powder that work absolutely gorgeous mm -hmm. this is just to set your skin into a clean canvas not saying that your face is not clean but you know to make it even if you can close your eyes, please. Good. Very good. Okay, I'm going to apply just a, a bit of this one into the blemishes. Yeah, it has gray coverage. Okay. Just in the spots. Like so. Very beautiful. What is that? Oh, my hair. <laughs> kind of puffy, yeah. Yeah, right now I'm into my Merida, you know, from the movie Brave. I just adore that character, so I wanted to have my hair like her. So yeah, quite big. <laughs> okay, then let's see. Mm, yeah, I love that cartoon. Well, it's not a cartoon, it's animation. Yeah. So as I was telling you, you don't need any kind of primer. I'm gonna show you how pigmented it is. What colors do you like the most? Mm -hmm. I want you to feel comfortable with the makeup, so I don't want to go with a look that you're going to feel maybe too thin and something that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm thinking about the, the look that we can create with those colors. Okay, we, we do have it here. Let's start with 1985 color right here. Oops, I'm so sorry. Now I want you to look at that pigmentation. See? Mm-hmm. Okay. Eyes closed. Very good. No, not at all. No primer. 
adjust with your eyelids like that but if you feel maybe that you might need it and you don't have a primer just put some setting powder or even some concealer that's it that's all you need Go a little bit with Chanel color here. No fallout. Let's see. Okay. Your eyes closed. Now this is not on retail price, which was when the palette came out, but it was yeah kind of expensive. Right now, this is only $20. Mm -hmm. A big deal. And completely new. So, uh, maybe we can try with the colors that you're telling me that you like. Um, wand. The wand noise. Which is this one right here. So, so pretty. See the pigmentation? I know it looks scary. I know it looks very, very orangey, but once we apply it, you're gonna see, okay? There we go. Okay, those colors look just amazing on you. Let's do your eyebrows. Me, mm. just gonna add a bit of color. Your design is already pretty, so you don't really need much, just need to close your eyes. Good. I do we even have a really black tone right here these are perfect for eyebrows if you have black hair even blondes red hair looks good okay This is the first look with the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. We're going to add some contouring that is also in special. This one is in cream. So what this is going to make uh, the colors more deep than with just powder. And it also lasts longer. Some people use it with their fingers, other people use brushes. I really like this one for that. Okay, I'm gonna put it just a bit on your forehead. Down to your cheeks. Like that. And a bit on this area. Like so. Now for eyeliner, we're going to use this Maybelline Master Precise, that is the ones that we have in this area. If you can close your eyes please. Good. What is that? Oh my earrings. Aren't they cute? Little penguins. I love them. It was a gift from my husband. Okay, do you want your eyeliner long or just short? Like in the middle, okay. Just a bit, not to exaggerate it. I know what you mean. Okay, let's use our other bare minerals to apply some blush. 
this color. Isn't that fantastic? Very pretty and very soft too. Yeah, all the products that I'm using right now are available and are in discount. Right now we are with brand names. Mm -hmm. For the other looks, we are gonna use uh, our line that is brandless, but still quite good. Okay. For your lips, I would like to go with something bold. Let's go with this color tone red. It looks very bright, like sherry bright. It's almost like what I'm wearing right now. There we go. Now do this. And this is matte, so it's going to dry it out in a bit. Uh, let me give you a mirror here. Here you go. So you can look at yourself. What do you think? You like it? Yeah, the pigmentation is just something really, really crazy in this palette. And it's going to last you a lot. A lot of time. This one has... Um, let's see six years shelf life so if you take care of this well enough it's gonna last you quite a lot some other palettes are only 12 months but no this is gonna last you for years the only thing is that don't expose it to the sun and that's it yeah it can look fantastic on you do you want to try the other look with the more affordable one affordable because this is only $20 this one the nude the glam nude it's only five dollars mm -hmm. and I just want to show you the, the pigmentation let me just remove it we are not gonna touch your eyebrows or the contouring because that's perfect we might remove the lips because it might not go with the nude tones. So if you can close your eyes. Very good. Good, 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 good. Very good. Yeah, for this you need a makeup removal. I use this tonic, which is really great. Um, no, this one is mine <laughs> because this one, they don't sell it here. The ones that they sell here is micellar water, which is also great. But I like this one better <laughs> for me, for my type of skin. So I kind of use it on my clients. I shouldn't, to be honest, but it is what it is. It's a bit stronger, yes, and faster. Okay, let's go with your lips. Just do your lips like this. Good. Okay. So let's work with the glam nudes. I'm gonna make it a little bit uh, similar to the first look. We're gonna start with this color. It's not as pigmented, has some fallout, but you see the color is still beautiful. We are not gonna use any primer either. Okay, close your eyes. That's our base. I would 
like to go with this goldish tone. See, very pretty. Okay, eyes close. Maybe something also a bit stronger. I would call this like a brownish gold color. The nameless brand don't really put names on their colors, so we make it up. <laughs> now, look at this. That is beautiful, beautiful color. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, those tones work absolutely gorgeous on you. Yeah, these are definitely your colors. Have you ever done a uh, color analysis? Yeah, this new trend that there is in the internet that they do these weird things with color wheels where they try to look for the colors that work for you. We just found the perfect ones for you, for your hair, for your skin tones, your eyebrows, your eyes, it just looks amazing. Yeah, I'm kind of crazy about those videos on the internet. Yeah, I do love them. Yeah, you just Google or on YouTube, put color analysis. Well, color analysis for makeup and you will see a bunch of videos. I especially love this channel, ASMR Joni. She does very, very good ones. Okay, let's finish up with this really light gray. Again, this palette only five dollars. So just gonna tap 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 it a little bit, not too much. You don't wanna exaggerate the color there. Now for the eyeliner, we are going with brandless, okay? We have this Kijeb Jaji. Very beautiful color. Okay, close your eyes. Now this is a perfect tone for eyeliner. It just goes very, very well with the colors that I added. So I think it will look magical. Yeah, definitely. Definitely your colors. Now I didn't put any mascara. On the first look because we were gonna do the second one I'm gonna put the mascara now we have this buxom mascara that is also sold here you can find it all at the end of the aisle <laughs> now blink 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 Now we have two options for lipsticks. I especially love this Cat Bone D. It's a tiny one, but the color is just so pretty. Or we can go with LA Colors Matte Color, which is this one. I think it will look good on you too. It's up to you. Well, for me, I think this one. Mm -hmm. Now you can take a look. You like it? So which look was your favorite? You like both? Oh, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I also have an special. Let's say that you decide to go with the Morphe palette. We can give you a gift, which is our lash bolt. It's this one. Look at those lashes. 
so so beautiful it comes with eyelash glue too and if you go let me just put these things here if you go for the blue blood palette this one is $25 the Morphe is just $20 so if you go for this one we are gonna give you any kind of lipstick that you choose from the line that we were using today so either the red, the matte, or the Kat Von D color. And this one is the smaller one. I just suggested to go with the big ones. But yeah, this one are just, oh my gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And to be honest, the box it came in, very pretty. Oh no, these are not old ones. These are, oh, they were produced last year and it has a shelf life of three years. So you still have a lot of time to use it. And well, the other one that you were telling me, the bare minimals, minerals, I'm sorry, <laughs> which is this one. Let me show you. This one is the blush that I applied. Yeah, it does have a bit of glitter on it. Oops, let me just toss it there. And the other one. This one, it hasn't been used, so I don't know if I can open it with my nails. I have short nails <laughs> yeah just so you can see it if you can help me <laughs> yeah yeah when you have short nails like mine these things can be hard there we go just put that there and take a bit out of the product This one is more matte, it doesn't have much glitter, and it's quite similar to the other one. The other one is more pinkish. This one it's more into the darkish pink kind of color. Just put it here. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna clean the area so it doesn't fall on you. There we go. Yeah so cute and this one as I was saying five dollars this one doesn't come with a gift because it's our affordable palettes but I can give you a discount on our Cella Beacon True Palette which is this one mm -hmm. oh that's perfect okay no we can actually do it here don't worry so you're telling me that you want this let me just ring it out. Do you have an account with us? Well, if you get an account with us, especially in the beauty department, you're going to receive coupons for makeup with different kind of discounts, sometimes 10%, 25%. During Christmas time, we do a 25% to 30 so you don't really want to miss it out. Yeah? Oh, thank you, thank you. Let me just open a new account if you can give me your full name please okay very good so day of birth don't worry about the year this is just for your birthday special you are also gonna receive a coupon Let's say that your birthday falls in a season that we have uh, a major discount, let's say 25%. For your birthday, you're going to get 5% off, so it's going to add up. Mm -hmm. Very good. Just so you remember, okay? It's not going to say nothing in 
the email that you're going to receive for your birthday just that you have your coupon of 5% off so just check on the store if there is some special discount offer going on and just tell the clerk very good now I will need an email don't worry we don't sell any sorry sell <laughs> we don't send any spam just the coupons that's it you can opt out for information about new products and stuff like that but it's up to you but no we don't send those type of emails we know that it's quite annoying <laughs> so there we go okay your account it's created can I take you another picture now with the makeup look thank you this is gonna be in your file you can actually see the pictures in your account when you log in you can log in with your email number I'm sorry with your email address and when you receive the confirmation there's gonna be the password but then you can change it so I'm gonna blow the picture here so there we go okay so which are the ones that you want everything oh my gosh thank you okay I'm, I'm gonna ring them up so you want just the ones that I use on you oh even the blue blood palette and the contouring too oh thank you so much that is gonna give you another gift because you're expending more than fifty dollars yes what we can offer you is these cover FX glitter drops which it's amazing for illumination and add some light to the face let me give you an example here in my hand this is just for the test the one that you're going to receive is completely new as you can see here look at that shimmer very cute isn't it now if I put it some people like to wear it in their whole body especially people that go to clubs and you can see how it shimmers so that's gonna be your gift let me just clean my hands a bit because I don't want the glitter to be all over the keyboard very well so I'm adding all of the products here blue blood the Morphe Jeffree Star the eyelashes do you want them to thank you so much Okay, I made a mistake there. There we go. There we go. Good. Now I'm gonna give you an extra gift. This J lash. This is for the lashes to decorate it. It's quite cute. Just in case that you wanna add some decoration to the area. This is in the back the instructions on how to use it mm -hmm. okay. we can send the receipt to your email account if you want or do you want it in your bag So now I'm gonna go get your products if you can wait for me for a bit yeah thank you I'll be back hi okay I got them for you here so we have your blood blue blood palette completely sealed your contouring palette 
your Glam Nude palette, your Morphe Jeffree Star, your Lashes too, Lashes Bolt, your Sparkle Gifts, also the Cover Glitter. Uh, you didn't tell me which uh, lipstick you wanted. You have an option between these three. Mm, okay. Very good. I'm just gonna put it there. And your bare minimal colors. So, here we are. Is there anything else that I can do for you today? Well, it was my pleasure working with you. You look completely amazing and <laughs> very, very cute. Thank you so much for your purchase. And remember to check your email for the coupons. You can always exchange them here or in any store. It was my pleasure. Thank you so much. Oh, no, don't worry about tipping. No, no, that's okay. Really, really, that's okay. I get a commission for the sale, so please don't worry. It was my pleasure. Please take care. Bye-bye. Welcome. How are you today? I'm glad to hear that. Well, today we are going to be doing your spring makeup. So I brought two palettes that I believe will be great for this time. Let's see your beautiful face. We're going to try to do a makeover with very soft colors, colors that are very, very colorful, and a bit of pastels too. For that I have two palettes that I believe will be great for this. We have this Morphe one that has such amazing colors and to be honest, very, very springy from what I believe. Mm -hmm. I especially love this one with the little stars. Very, very adorable. And another one that I know <laughs> is not that popular anymore. But we are not in a time that we should be discarding stuff. So... I still have this one, which has colors that are very, very beautiful. And I believe very appropriate for the time. I especially love the soft colors, such as this one, kind of a peachy color, soft pink, and this one, very springy, to be honest. So let's start by prepping your skin. Uh, you're not wearing anything, right? Okay, we're just gonna prepare it. Then we're gonna be doing your eyebrows. For that, I'm gonna be using my skincare tools from Korea. This ones are amazing for this. This one in particular is quite good for the skin and to prep her up for the makeup. Since you're not wearing anything at the moment, this is gonna be great. It has a very nice aroma too, isn't it? Like you just got out of the shower. Okay. So, we're going to apply this layer to help the skin feel smooth and prepare for the makeup. Now what this does is open up the pores. We're going to release 
everything that's inside of them and makes the skin soft and especially moisturize which is what we need for this kind of makeup we're gonna be using a self style of foundation nothing too thick because that will be the contrary of what we want of soft spring makeup do you have any ideas on what colors do you want you can check up the palettes if you want for your skin I do believe self pinks and Pastel colors will be a great choice for your type. Very beautiful colors. Now this drops along with that cream. It's going to be amazing for your skin. I can already notice that the cream is taking out what we don't want in our pores. It's not dirt or anything, it's just a natural thing that goes inside our pores. Yeah, sometimes an exfoliation once per month could be a good option. There we go. Now, let's clean that up with a bit of distilled water and rose infusion. Okay, if you can close your eyes, please. Thank you. skin is prepped up for our foundation so I was saying we're gonna be using a very light one I found that the Korean makeup is the best for this type of style of makeup since they are not too harsh on makeup over there they use very very soft colors That's for the style Using that has SPF protection and it's quite nice. I'm using a little mermaid brush here. This one comes out clear, which matches perfectly any type of skin color.
prefer to do my foundation first. Since it's quite light, this is just to even out the skin tone. Not to hide anything. It does hide some blemishes, but this is just to unify the skin. Yeah, I use it all the time because I get really, really red. So, you know, my husband used to call me tomata, tomatita, which translates in English to tomato, tomato face. Yeah, especially during the summer and also during the winter, I get quite red. My chic area. <laughs> yeah, la tomatita used to call me. Well, he still does, but we have another nickname for each other, so she's private. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's do those eyebrows. Now, I love the design that you have. We are just gonna twist them a little bit and remove the overgrowth. And let's disinfect our tools. that hurt okay your skin is a little bit cool let's warm it up I use a warm pad to twist our eyebrows it's perfectly to do it after a hot shower or a bath because that opens up our pores and when we twist them it doesn't hurt that much so we're gonna mimic that with this pad Oh no, it's not gonna damage the foundation because it's waterproof. This is just to open up your port so it doesn't hurt when we take out the little hairs. There we go. Okay, that should be ready. Let me know if it's better, okay? Ready? Better? Okay. It's got a little bit stuck. There we go. And you pick up the colors. Oh, those are cute. Love them. Good. Okay, I'm gonna pull a little bit here. There we go. And here too. Now, as for the design, your eyebrows are very pretty. I don't want to mess up with that. We're just going to do some tweaking here and there. I'm just going to fill up the little gaps 
Mm. For that, we're going to be using our glitter palette. One of my all time favorites, especially for the eyebrows. Let's use this color over here. Not too much, we don't want to make your eyebrow look too harsh since this is a soft spring color theme. Good. Oh, this color favors you a lot. I really love how it makes your eyes stand out. Even without foundation. I'm sorry, <laughs> eyeshadow. That's very, very pretty. For your eyeshadow, you wanted the Morphe one, 24 Arts Pass. Very beautiful palette, to be honest. palette doesn't require primer and since we already apply a bit of the foundation in the eye too we don't need really need much so let's start with our base I would like something very neutral let's use this portrait mode here Those are very beautiful bays. Hmm, it's nice, like a clear canvas. Now we're going to be using this all access tone white but it has some glitter on it which is cute it kind of looks like my bow yeah you choose. I like to mix it a bit. Let's use this desert vibes. Just a bit. A bit of stippling here and there. Good. This stage persona color, it screams spring. Very, very beautiful. Oh, look at that tone. Isn't it gorgeous? Very, very soft. Let's apply a bit in the mirror. Right 
there. You know what will go great with that tone? I think the jawbreaker. There's a color. Yeah, the gum drop. Oh my gosh, this color is gorgeous. This one. Isn't it beautiful? It's just perfect for it. snack tone. I think we'll go great for it too. Okay, let's put it a bit here. Like so. Now you're gonna feel that it's too much colors, but once we're blending it, oh, it's gonna be a beauty. I'm sorry about my voice. I just sound a little bit raspy. I got sick after our vacation, our family vacation, and I got a bug. <laughs> yeah, no fun. Okay. This secret color here is gorgeous. gonna blend a bit. Now we're gonna be doing the photo shoot for our spring collection. <sighs> Maybe next week. I don't know if you wanna be part of it. Yeah, with this makeover I'm hoping that we can add this color to our our palette gamma. So our studio is well prepared for the spring season. I know we are a little bit early, but it's good to be prepared. Now what's spring without some glitter and sparkle? So we can either use this one here. Yeah, it looks different with the light, but look at that. Look at that glimmer. Amazing, isn't it? Or uh, maybe our glitter palette could be a good option. Hmm. This one doesn't have many glitter options. Maybe the Jawbreaker could be a good one. It's also very beautiful. But I feel too light for what I want. We could use that as a lighting effect. Now with this one, maybe we can go with this tone. What do you think? Yeah, it goes with the theme. Very beautiful color. Let's try that out. Let's see how it works. I 
If it doesn't work, we can always start over. You have time, right? pretty yeah it's definitely working now please you keep your eyes closed but not too strong yeah like that no that's perfect perfect okay let's use this rose brush we're going to be doing a bit of magic with the Jawbreaker color. Keep your eyes closed, quite soft. Oh, that's marvelous. It's like a bale of cone. That works perfectly. Now for eyeliner. Hmm. I think we can go save We Dark later. your eyes a little bit strong here like that and I'm gonna go deep into your lashes too like that Close like that, good. Mm. A bit of kind of eye will work great with this. Let's do a little test. As Mr. Rouse used to say, there are no mistakes, only happy little accidents. And the accident was a very nice surprise. Now let's do the bottoms of your eyes. Okay, we're going to look up. Very good. Doing it as close as I can to your lashes. I know it feels a little bit odd. There we go, thank you. Sometimes it feels uncomfortable to line up the area. Now I'm thinking about the lashes. I don't want anything too big. Your eyes are so beautiful. So I don't want to mess up with that. Mm. to determine if we're going to use falsies or just some color in it. 
Hmm. Now I think color should be enough. We don't want to make them big and flashy for this style of makeup. We want it to be delicate. So adding falsies could be the contrary of that. Okay, let's add some color to this. Okay. And blink, 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 blink. And blink, 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 blink. Blink, blink, a little bit underneath. There we go. Now for the highlighter. Mm. I'm gonna go with the Morphe one. See how this spotlight works. Hmm. Look at that. Isn't that adorable, the little star? Maybe you can put one here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I'm so sorry I bumped into you. Are you okay? Okay. Let's put a bit here. And for blush, we're going to need our jawbreaker. Since it's a very soft spring makeup, we want, we want you to look like a flower. So we're going to use our flower brush. <laughs> there we go. Very soft blush. Not to overdo it. That's good and with the highlighter. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Now you wanted to have some some contouring, right? Oh. Let's work with something soft. Mm. Okay, we're going to use our flat brush for this. And start from the top. So you you wanna do the photo riff and the photo shoot too? Okay, thank you. I take a couple of photographs for my site, and I will call you when I have the date for the photo shoot. I'm still not sure. Working with the photograph photographer. You know, English is not my first language, so sometimes some words escape my mind. How do you call the person that takes photograph? In Spanish, it's fotografo. Yeah, I forgot the word. <laughs> it happens sometimes. The person that takes photographs. <laughs> now, I'm going to look. Up. We're going to do the contouring in your neck area. Very soft. We don't want to overdo it. We want soft angles that work great 
with the colors that we did. Oh my earrings. Oh, little strawberries, yeah. Springtime. <laughs> Now let's see about those beautiful lips. Mm. Must be something soft. Let's see what we have here. Maybe we just glitter. Your lips are already pretty. Doesn't need anything to be honest. I have this glitter here, this one for the lip set. I think it's the right one. Oh, very nice aroma. Let's use a lip brush. Let's see how it works. Okay, just softly up in your mouth like this. Okay. This was the right choice. There we go. Less is more. Less is more. Now let's finish up with some touch of light. I have this glitter from the Sailor Moon palette. That is one of my ultimate favorite colors. It looks quite pink and very shiny, but once we apply it in the skin, it's just like magic. For this, we're gonna simply apply it in certain areas. We don't want you either to look like the Twilight Vampires, right? <laughs> No, that's overkill. Just a bit here and there is good. It's gorgeous. Okay, let's set up your makeup. Let's try it with your little bear. Okay, let me bring my camera. Be back in a second. Hopefully, I have noticed from the photographer. Now I remember the word. When is gonna be the photo shoot? Oh, here it is. So it's gonna be a week from today. Will you be available? Normally it's during the morning, but if that is not something that you can do, maybe you can do a late evening photo shoot. Yeah, I really want you to have the perfect features for our catalog. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Let me just the photographer now that I remember the word here we go so let's take your picture let me just 
put a little bit of light to you. There we go. Now, if you can look not directly into the camera, but look this way, up here, to the side, but never directly to the camera, okay? Thank you. Very good. I'm going to change the light here. I'm going to move your face a little bit to the side. Very good. Now if you can look to the side, please. Yeah, you can smile. The smile is very beautiful. Good. Very good. Now if you can look up, like you're seeing a bird up there. Good. Very good. Perfect. Okay, we got our pictures. Oh, the photographer is telling me that they are okay with doing a late evening photo shoot. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, we are done. Do you like your new makeover? I'm so happy. Well, I will be seeing you next week. I'll text you with the address. Maybe I can pick you up. Well, it was my pleasure. Thank you so much for letting me practice on you. And I hope that you enjoy your makeup for today. It was my pleasure. Please take care.